Alrighty, hey yo, what is up mates? Aegis Rick here, and I just want to have a little preface before the video actually starts. I just want to kind of talk about uh, what I'm planning to do with Blade and Soul on this channel. And after, you know, doing my recording session tonight, I think the best course of action on the channel would be a let's play of sorts. Where, you know, we're, we're kind of learning how to play the game, you know, as I'm making videos for it. I'm not an expert on the game, I'm not even going to claim I am. And I think this is a good opportunity for you guys to leave a little bit of comments and your suggestions, helpful tips as we level up higher and higher. I'm about level 8 when I start this recording. And so, you know, while I've tried the game out a little bit, I'm still pretty much a newbie at the game. So, would love it if you guys would give me some tips. Maybe, you know, some things I'm overlooking. Some gameplay tips on the Kung Fu Master, which this, I guess, series will be about. But, guys, this is just promoting me, you know, getting a higher level on Blade and Soul. So, a let's play of sorts. Uh, on the channel. I, th I think that's what's going to be covering most of it. Of course, I want to try to do some PvP if I can get high enough level. That's the thing, you know. I don't want to do PvP unless I'm high enough level. So, that's the plan I'm going to be having with Blade and Soul. You guys leave comments below what you think about that. And with that being said, enjoy my initial gameplay with the Kung Fu Master. Alrighty guys, that first section took a little bit longer than I thought it would. I'll probably could split this up into a couple videos, couple parts, but in this one guys, we're just jumping into the gameplay. One of the first things you're going to be uh, introduced to is the spin system. So it's basically like a daily uh, spin system right here. And if you're very consistent with logging in, you, you roll a dice and you just move that many spaces. Now the prizes along the way. And you'll be picking them up along the way. You don't actually have to land on it. So here I got the lucky tunic. And then I got the next prize as well. Um, I guess this ceiling charm. Now if you make it all the way until the end. You'll get this reward here. I believe it's just a, a really... Av yeah, is this an avatar set or something? Um, so, you know, it's just an incentive reward to get you to sign into the game. And, you know, obviously... Um, you know, it's something that is just like a daily reward. Now, this kind of event sort of thing ends in 16 days. And you actually get two spins a day, but the next spin is only available after you play uh, for an hour. So, just something, you know, incentivize people to play for a certain duration of time and log in every day. So, the daily dash. And there's a lot of prizes along the way I'm not really talking about. Like, pretty important stuff like repair kits and all that. So, all up to you guys. But, guys, we're in game, and I actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep the settings at the the level three that are actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce it down a little bit, guys. I, honestly, I do not want my frame rate to get bogged down just because I'm trying to get a higher quality video out. Here. All right, I went back down to the lowest. But here, look, I'm playing on the lowest setting, and it still doesn't look half bad. Okay, it's not as good as you guys found in other videos, but it's still all right. Now, guys, we're already at a pretty mid game, midpoint of the game, and. Uh, I just want to showcase like as much as I can in as little bit amount of time as possible. Now this game is an open world game and if you have followed my channel for a long time you know I complain about open world a lot. Okay I'm also complaining about my frame skipping right now but I complain about open world games a lot so I don't want to do that too much in this video just know that if preferences go if I'm just gonna have a choice between a not open world game and an open world game I am going to pick the not open world every single time. I don't really enjoy open world games, and I don't really want to try to defend myself on that. I just feel like I, a lot of the times open world just doesn't have the combat that uh, I want. And then at the, at the same time, I just feel like there's not a lot of gameplay, you know, personally. So anyway, that being said, guys, I'm still going to give this one a shot. Just know that I'm going to be extremely biased when it comes to stuff like, you know, stuff like, uh, you know, gameplay and stuff like that, just because I know, I know what open worlds are, are about. But anyway, guys, that being said, uh, the combat is very similar. I mean, if I'm just going to compare it to another game automatically, it's going to be, you're going to get a good comparison between Terra here. Terra, the gameplay is like Terra, and if I could, may say also that the setting and the story and stuff like that, it has also a very high uh, relationship to Swordsman Online, which, uh, you know, I'm not trying to be racist here. They really do play very similarly, the two games. So, man, my computer cannot handle this. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, now we, we got an epic quest now. There's a couple epic quests and side quests that have you going into instances. And this is actually one thing I actually enjoy about this game. Is that they have at least a different area sometimes so you're not always in the open world. It just means that there's more enemies around to deal with. Um, 
And I'm just gonna quickly showcase the combat. So the combat is focused around not MP, but you see those like blue spheres. And every skill that you use uses a different amount of spheres. Now every class also, if you look at the tab key, has an initiation move, which I really enjoy because it's basically spammable. And in an open world game, a lot of the time what you do is group up enemies. So this allows you to kind of initiate battle like this, and then you know, and then you can if if you completed the battle, or if you ended the battle, um, it would be a matter of, you know, just pressing tab again to jump to the next enemy. So it makes, you know, at least if you're going to be fighting single targets a lot, makes it at least a little bit more bearable because it's very fast paced. So, um, I'm getting my ass kicked right now. I'm going to, uh, okay, we, we actually killed. And we got a bunch of items here. That was actually a pretty... So like I said, you know, you, you you can press tab and then immediately initiate back into fight fighting mode, I guess. I actually took a lot of damage there. Um, I believe you can use a dumpling item to recover back to full. We also got a few potions as well, just that you can use. The dumpling item is more of like a recovery item that you use um, when you're out of combat. Where the... The... Uh, the potions are used mid-combat, but... Anyway, guys, uh, what you're going to see about the Swordmaster gameplay is that he has one of his first skills that he picked up was this counter here, and I'm not using it very well. Um, he picked up a counter, and if you're... Whoa, I just dodged that attack. If you're good at timing, you know, your enemy's attacks right there, or just sidestepping them, you can av avoid a lot of different attacks right there. I just countered his spin move right there, and I basically took no damage. So, um, it's just kind of a way to, you know... Uh, avoid attacks you can avoid attacks just by circling over them or like like a show right there you can actually use the counter attack to reflect damage um, get people to stop attacking you and all of that um it takes a, a couple levels right there just use another attack it takes a couple levels to get all of your skills like the right mouse button i didn't get until i you know leveled up to the point i am now um the tab attack i don't even think i had it until a little while either but there's other kind of status effects right there. there's a knockdown which you can actually wail on guys while they're knocked down kind of like a really good cc move um and so it's a little bit more in depth than you know most of games of this genre you know you have different kind of combos right there you do have knockdown status effects you do have knockbacks as well there's a knockdown knockback um all right there i don't even know where i am okay and so you know you do get a little bit more diversity on that front I, and again i really like the initiations right there so um i would say even this has something going for it more than Terra, which i you know I do kind of praise Terra's combat system, even though I don't really enjoy it, uh, enjoy it too much. I can give it a little bit uh, leeway because it's a it's a fluid game experience, and this is much the same way, right there. My right mouse button is actually like a faint attack. I get to step back from an enemy's attack. You cannot do that right now. Right there, they're just using that to kind of step back from an enemy, and then good CC move right here to just kind of do a lot of damage to these guys. Again, I can use the knockdown, knock back. And spam the counter. So again, a lot of the skills are indeed uh, utilized by the little mana system. And if you're not spamming, like uh, like if you're being a little bit more deliberate with your stuff, you won't ever actually run out of mana. So, um, and it does refill kind of quickly. Now below that is your your little green meter, which is like shift. Okay, I think I need to get like five of these. How many do I need to get? Uh, the green meter is your stamina, which you just basically use shift to run. You can also do this cool thing where if you're running, you can also jump and glide. Not really sure what is the purpose of the whole gliding thing, but you can jump really high and glide if you want, which can be used a little bit more easily in town, just kind of maneuver and all that. So I need to pick up five of these for a quest, so don't mind me while I freaking loot your whole shit, dude. And I think that's good. Is that good? Am I am I over farm? I think I'm good. Let's do it. And so luckily the shift like stamina bar refills quickly and you actually move quite fast in this mode. So uh, that's a godsend honestly because you're gonna be running around a lot and I hate running around in open world games. But guys, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be freaking mobbing everybody up. Everybody sees me here. Let's do it, man. AOECC, get a good hard move right there, and let's just start spamming the counter. Oh. Uh. And not, not a good move right there. I'm actually getting swarmed here. Let's knock them all away from me. Yeah, there you go. And, uh... Sadly, I don't think I can use my initiation move if I'm already in combat, which would have been nice. Let's use that faint attack to get away from people and use the knockdown again. And then the shoulder... 
Ooh, I just teleported behind him. Did you see that? I don't even know how I did that, to be honest. I think it's the right mouse button again. Oh, he teleported behind me. And the combat's getting too serious now. And let's knock him down again. Probably not showing some very great gameplay. Oh my god, I'm stunned. I hit him with the counterattack, though. And hit him with the counterattack again. Okay. So, yeah, probably not showing combat the best I can. And, yo, what's up with these chests, though? Chests. Yo, I've seen these chests before, and I can never open them. But uh, you kind of get the idea. I can just show you the dumpling item right now. Basically, meditates for a little bit while you recover out of combat. Obviously, you couldn't do this in combat, but, you know, just eat the dumpling real quick. And after a while, we'll recover you back to full HP. I think it's... It's scaled off 100% uh, HP, so it's a really useful item. We get a secret training room. Now this is, I believe, uh, we're gonna be fighting an NPC, this purple NPC that is gonna be teaching us a new move. Last time I fought him, he taught Welcome me. To the I mean, training room. He taught me the initiation Welcome attack with the tank. Torture. Okay, I mean, okay, we get training. it, man. And don't worry about your focus levels. I've set up several charms to keep your energy levels up. All right. So, don't hold so this is how the dialogue looks in this game. Pretty much anytime you do a quest or something, I'll, I'll open this little sub sub menu open where you talk to the NPC and, and you know, kind of move careful. the quest along and all that. So uh, we'll see actually what we're supposed to be doing. We inspect these bushes here. We'll pick it up along the way here. Woo! You let that dog get away. Did I? The nice thing, right? I am not going to be listening to this quest. Anyway, so you okay. use three, you then tab, then one. And okay, so okay. tab. Ah, okay, so there you go, guys. So he wants me to knock the enemy down. Then we can, when they're knocked down like that, we can actually mount them by pressing the tab button again and then press one of the two skills here. So again, another way to uh, kind of uh, mount. So I'm going to use this attack right here. Oh, I, I, apparently it wants me to use this one right here to headbutt. He's not liking the headbutt I'm doing. That's a headbutt, right? Did I do it? Finally, okay. I kept doing it. All right, so you can mount. I, I was wondering, so you, so you use the tab key for initiations, and then you also use them to mount people when they're knocked down. So that's... You know, double usage for the tab key. Usually, you know, you, I, I, apparently they're using the tab key to kind of jump onto people when they're CC'd or jump onto people as an initiation, which is cool. I have seen people do this in PvP and stuff like that, so that is something that you can kind of use uh, if people are getting knocked down. As we saw a little bit earlier, you can also evade attacks either with a counter system or where I teleported behind them kind of circa... Um, I'm reminded of Dragon Ball Z Budokai, which had that kind of similar system where you kind of teleport behind people. Uh, if you have a little bit of meter. I'm not sure how that system works, but it does look pretty fluid and something that you can definitely get into. Are I can imagine PvP being a lot better because of that. So Some quests, you know, Cricket. here's some standard it's stuff. Some quests can be completed just by Cricket. clicking onto the... It's time for training. It's a uh, clicking for onto Cricket. the buttons here right there so you don't even have to go talk to the NPC. Or you can progress the quest just by clicking on it. Um, and you got your standard affair, you know, if you've played an open world type game, you got your standard affair of different types of quests. You got basically, you know, your investigation quest, or your kind of like, get a item off of an enemy quest, you know, your standard stuff. So I wouldn't be too surprised if you're just expecting some, um, you know, some brand new uh, kind of revolutionary stuff when it comes to the questing. And here I'm going to try my new mounting technique. I did just mount on top of like I, I I don't think I have invincibility. So. Um, so I wonder I'm gonna just run over here and use this knockdown attack, and then I'm gonna see if I can can I mount on. Oh, got a long cooldown on that, so no, I can't. Let's use that counter attack and that elbow drop on his on his back right there. Okay, now there is a quest over here. What am I supposed to be doing? Over here? Anyway, let me pick this up. He's not he's not letting me pick it up. Oh, there you go. I think I had to throw it at somebody though. So, oh wait, wait, wait. There you go. Get one shot. Okay. Some good stuff right there with uh they do have some different items like I remember picking up like a rock that insta stuns people. So that's pretty good. Pretty uh new stuff. I don't know what to do at that camp though, guys. So I'm going to keep moving on with my epic storyline quests.
We, we could also go to the purple waypoint, which will teach us yet another new, like, combat move, which is good, you know. I do like the fact that it's not just your standard affair. We are learning how to do stuff. The initiation thing, the mounting thing is pretty cool. And, uh, it is amplifying our, you know, our repertoire of things we can do. Um, so, it's kind of nice that it's easing us into that. We don't have to just kind of learn on the fly here. We're picking up quests, guys. You ever play You ever play an open world game? You're going to be familiar with the idea of just talking to everybody and just, yes, yes, I'll do it. Whatever you want. Yes. Questing, man. It never ends. It doesn't matter what game. Okay, let's use our initiation. Take on this boar. And let's knock him down. And you know what? We're going to mount the boar and we're going to punch him in the face. Get fucked, bear. I said boar, but yeah, that looks like a bear to me. Uh... <laughs> I mounted a bear. Have you ever done that in a game? No, you haven't. That's the story. Ooh, getting getting slobber knockered right there. Okay. And we are in combat stance, so we oh we our mount should be coming back up. Oh, there it is. Headbutt. Oh, we headbutted the bear. Oh my gosh. What are you crazy, dude? Kung Fu Master Man, dude's not playing a game. Initiation yet again. So I do, like I said, when the enemies are kind of spread apart like this, it is nice to have like a feature that can, uh, that can just initiate on the next guy. As long as, you know, bam, you see, you just start the fight just that easy. Let's counter the bear. Counter the bear. Ooh, we countered him right there. Counter the bear? No, just gonna walk around him. So it's good, it's good to strafe your enemies like that. Alright guys, let's, let's take out these guys. They don't, they don't want none of this. Let's actually group them all up. Just gonna have them all notice me and... Notice me, senpai, and you know what? Let's start the. F oh shoot! Somebody's shooting like rain right shit at me. No, 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 no! I'm not gonna have any of that, dude. You're gonna get knocked down and clobbered, dude. Counter? Oh, what? What the fuck happened? Okay, well apparently he just had enough of that. He's just like, no, I don't want to fight you, dude. <laughs> He's like, I'll be stronger and then I'll fight you. Good idea, kid. All right. But anyway, guys, I think I was able to show off the combat a little bit. Probably not very well, but hopefully I can just give you a little bit of a, a taste of this stuff. Uh, we are going to be learning a new skill here. So anyway, guys, I think we'll cut the video short here. Uh, and then in the next video, guys, we'll be learning that new skill and going through that new instance. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you knights. Oh, later.